Hello guys, it's Tiny Tiny here and today we will be doing questions 13 to 20 of the Junior Mathematical Challenge, uh, which is from 2019. And for question 13, it asks us how many different ways you can spell out JMC. So, basically, what I did for this question is that I considered, so basically from J to M, it can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it can be 8 ways. And then from M to a C, for example, if it's on a corner, so wait, let me change a color. That would probably be better. So for example, if I used red, so if there are, oh, for if, if there are these corner pieces, like these that I'm, I have circled in red, there are five ways. So it's four times five. And if they are in these middle bits from M to C's like here, 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 there are three methods. So it's four times three. That equals to 12. And, oh, and that equals to 20. So when we add the two together so 20 plus 12 equals 32 so the answer is e for the next question we're told that each length is one centimeter so what i did for this question was that i i tried from this point which wouldn't really work as it wouldn't be the longest, and it, it would trap itself somehow. And the highest here would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9. So the highest would be 9. But another way would be that if you started from here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that would be the best method as it's basically looping around the most. So as much as possible. So that has 10 pieces, which equals to 10 centimeters. So the answer is D. D for question 14. For question 15, you have to think of splitting a four times four grid um, into four of those L-shaped pieces. So let me just draw a larger version. So for example, we could split it into... So the, the dot could be here. So that's a shape, um, wait, that's a shape, and then that's a shape, and also that's a shape. So it could be here, here, and there. And also if you rotate it, it could be here, here, and, <coughs> and here, and here. And same with these pieces so if you rotate and flip them and another possibility would be that so let's say let's draw another one so for example uh, a shape could be like so it's like spiraling from the center. So it could be like that, 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 and that. But so 
four L shapes in a spiral. So if you add all of these together, it equals to the full square of dots. So it's 16 dots, which equals to E, which is the answer. For question 16, it says that Tasman writes down three two-digit numbers. So we know that there are two digits. One is square, one is prime, and one is triangular. So let's, let's take the square first. Let's try square first. So it, so, um, squares that are two digit, two, two that use up two digits would be sixteen, twenty five, thirty six, forty nine, sixty four, and nine eighty one. So, 81. And if you think of these numbers, that these 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is missing out 1, so that won't work. And 25 won't work because it doesn't have a 2. 36 might work. 49 won't work, so it's not a 9. 64 might work. 81 won't work because there isn't a 1. So, we know that it has to be 36 or 64. And and if we try 36 for first, so for example, these are prime, uh, these are square, I mean, these two digits are square. Then if we did 36, 36, it would, um, and we look at the prime numbers, it wouldn't, it wouldn't work because if you look at the if you look at the question, what it asks you, it the options are thirty seven and forty three, fifty three, seventy three and eighty three. But these are prime. These are all prime, but they all use three. So thirty six certainly won't work. So it has to be sixty four. Then it would be, then what it would be, then let's try the prime number, and let's try the triangular number for, so triangular numbers are like 1, which is 1, 1 plus 2, which is 3, 1 plus 2 plus 3, which equals 6, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 10, and so on. So it keeps on going. So 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 21, 28, 36, 45, 55, and 66, and 78. So those are the numbers. And so these won't work, of course, because they're single digits. And 10 won't work because there isn't a 1 or a 0. And so is 15. So won't 15 and 21. 28 won't because there isn't a 2. 36 might work. No, it will um, And four, 45 might work. 55 might work. 55 won't work, in fact, because it repeats the 5 and 66 won't work too. 78 might work. And we also know that, sorry, we also know that we've used 4, so 45 won't work. And, oh, and 28 won't work too, sorry. And also 36 won't work because, because we have used the 6. So 78 is our number, is our prime number. So let's say that's prime so we get 78 now what we have left left is the 5 and the 3 and the only possible way that it becomes a <coughs> a triangular number sorry um so wait it becomes a triangular number so let's say triangular is this place 
so 78 is here. The only way it could be a prime number is that it becomes 53, which is C, and we want our prime number. So C is, so the answer is C, which is 53. For the seven, 17th question, we it asks, it says that a rectangle is three times as long as it is high. So let's say that the height is A and the length is 3A. And the area of the square is 12 times the area of the rectangle. So 3A times A is basically 3A squared. So the area of the rectangle must be 48 3 times 12, which is 36 a squared. So it becomes... So it becomes... So because the area is 36 a squared, um, the sides we know that is 6 a for each side. So 6 a too. Because the square root of 36 a squared is equal to 6 a. And so we know, so it asks us what the ratio of the perimeter of the square is to the perimeter of the rectangle. So let's calculate the perimeters. So the perimeter of the rectangle is, so it's a the side and 3a. So it's 6a plus 2a, which equals to 8a. But however, the, the, the perimeter of the square is 6a times 4, which equals to 24a. So that to that is 3 to 1, which is d. For this question, um, you could just do 1 cubed equals 1, 2 cubed equals 8, 3 cubed equals 27. Yes, yes, that would take you so long. But it might look really scary, this question, but it actually isn't because... <coughs> because... Because if you think of it, 8,000 itself is equal to 20, 20, 20 cubed, which means that there is only 1 to 20 cubed in the whole of 1 to 8,000, which means that there are 20. So, 20, so that over 8,000 is... 400 over 1, which is C. So, for this question, what we would do is we would, we'd first, we would first try to solve any lines that we can find. So, what we can do is that if you take the two here, you know that you can't go through this line, so the two can't go through this line, so not two. And it also can't go through that line, so not two, because there's a two here and there. So in this box, you can only put two here next to the three. And, and if there's a two there, and we... And we um, <coughs> sorry. And we and we want neither one. So we need a one here. So you can't put one here because because there's a one here, and you can't put a one in this box. So not one because there's already a one here. So the one could only be here in this line. And this line need also needs a 2. So 2 can't be here. And 2 can't be in this box. Because that that isn't 2. Because it's it has a 2 in there. So 2 must be x. So the answer is b. You 
in this question, it asks you to write down the largest two-digit prime. So that each of its digits is prime. So the t one digit primes are two, three, five, seven. Yes, so there's only these. So the largest would be 73, which is also a prime number because 77 and 75 won't work. And the smallest prime would be 23. So the difference between them is 50 so the answer is a thank you to listening thank you for listening